Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll take a look how to query sub collection data in Firebase. Now, first, let's go ahead and take a look at our sub collection. Here is my collection, and here is document. And for each document, actually, I have a sub collection. And the sub collection itself, they have documents. And then some of the documents they have actually fields. And if they have fields, their fields are similar. The keys are all similar, but the value is different. So we'll see how to do query for this sub collection, which also means that for this documents over here, we would do query for the documents based on different conditions. Now the conditions would have to match here, right? So these are the conditional. So over here, we'll take this fields to do actually condition. So let's go ahead and do that. First here, I would do a query. Now, first I'll declare a variable and variable name is result. And then I would do await and then I would do Firebase Firestore. And now I'll get the instance out of it, okay? Now, after getting the instance, we'll do like this. We're gonna get the collection. So here we'll do collection and we'll get our first collection. So our first collection is message. And after that, actually, we want to get the document, a uh, certain document ID. Now here, I would do like this. I would do doc. Now doc actually takes a document ID. Now I'm, I have a document ID, which I'm passing because the file that I'm in at the top, I have a document ID. I do get that. So you have to pass a document ID. And then over here, I would do collection again. Now inside this, actually, I will have sub collection. My sub collection name is message list. And then I would do get. Now with this actually we'd be getting all the data from our sub collection. Now let me walk you through. So this is Firebase inst Firebase Firestore instance and then this is our first collection and then we'll have document ID and sub collection. Let's match it. So what we did over here so first we saw that message sub message collection and then I took one of this uh, document ID and after that for that document ID actually we took this sub collection and from the sub collection we are returning for now. Now with this with this if we go ahead and run actually we'll get all the documents but this is not what we want. What we want we want to do a conditional query. Now the query would be based on we, for this documents based on this condition. So let's go ahead and check it. Now this is our sub collection. That now we know that from here actually we'll return a lot of documents. But before returning we want to add a condition. And to do that we'll just simply do like this. So here we do dot and then after that we'll put where. Now where function takes actually the condition. Now what is the condition we want to put over here? Now first we could do a conditional check based on the time, the time, the add time, okay? Here we're gonna do like this. So here I would write add time. And then I will see, so here inside this I will have a lot of options like say for example is equal to, is less than to, or is greater than. Now I'm gonna use is less than. Now it's less than current timestamp. So what is our current time stamp? Current uh, timestamp is timestamp dot now. Okay, so these are current timestamp. Timestamp now. So this is our current timestamp. Now with this, actually, we could go ahead and print the result. So here we do results, and then I could do docs, and then I could also do length. So let's go ahead and print that. Actually, now as we print, we'll see values over here. Now actually, here I do have a button. So I need to go a certain page and uh, then if I click the button, this button will trigger this function at the top, the one we have seen. We do see that the result is zero. Why? Because over here, none of the time matches the current time. The current time is the current time now, but I have dated the I have added the data long ago. So the result is zero. But how about if I do less than? Now, over here, now we are using the condition is less than. But of course, because all the documents you see over here, I have added long ago. So what did it return? It would return actually all these documents over here, right? And then based on that, we are just taking the number. Anyway, so here I'm going to say hi, and then hit the send button. And then I see that I have 32 documents, okay? 
Now, this was based on this add time. How about if I want to query this subcollection based on this content over here or token? Now I'm gonna go ahead and do it based on this content over here. Now here, I'm going to add the condition. In the condition, I'll do content and then I'll remove this one over here would say is equal to, is equal to, now is equal to certain content. Now in this case, we just say hello, all right? And then we'll save our data and I would say hi and we'll see what prints over here. So in our Firebase collection, actually we have three documents that has content hello. So in our Firebase collection over here, in the document, we have three documents actually that matches hello. Now actually over here, we can also check it. So over here we would do content, all right? And then over here we can add a condition here we'd say equal to, all right. Now we do string equal to hello, all right. Now let's apply. Now here we see that we have three documents that has hello. So what we have, so what we have queried from here, they all matches. Now I could do another one over here. I would do hi. Now I'll save it. Now I'll just randomly say anything because I need a send button or a bu click button to trigger this function. Now we see that there are four condition, four documents that has this high. Now we can confirm it from our Firebase. So over here, like we have this condition. So inside this right now, instead of hello, we can say hi, and then we could do apply. And we'll see that there are four documents and they all have different document ID and that is high. So yes, so yes, that's how you actually go ahead and query sub collection data or documents. Thank you.